What's going on guys? How is it going so far? Hope it's going with the brand new video as you can see. So I haven't built a setup for a very long time and today we are going to build a brand new setup. So I have been using the same setup for a very long time if you guys don't know. Um, uh, I may have broken down into a few parts and I didn't have a setup in the past few weeks or months. Like three, four months, I have a setup. I was recording on my phone, and yeah, today we're gonna build a brand new setup on camera. And this is gonna be really easy. I bought like the supplies online like a few months ago and just arrived, so I thought it arrived like yesterday. So I thought, what better day to make the video than today? So let's get straight into it. Okay, so this is the brand new Xbox Series S, not brand new, it came a few years ago. But uh, I just got this Xbox Series as, as you guys can see. And I got two controllers with it. Like, if you're playing some football, like a football game or a multiplayer game, I've got two controllers. And now, we're going start with, uh, to start with building. Let's go. And guys, for the monitor, I'll be using this TV. As you guys can see, it's the Skyward TV. I have got the remote and everything, and it's gonna be looking good. And then pretty much this is a keyboard. I still, still, it's not. Like I didn't turn on the RGB, um, and this is the mouse which pretty much I use it like even I is doing this. Use this in my PlayStation, and this is the mouse pad. It's actually big. I have another mouse pad, so when I'm resting my hand on the mouse pad, it's comfortable, and the mouse pad is kind of good, as you guys can see. Why do I got a coin there? That's. Just it's, it's a good mouse, mouse, mouse glide, and uh, in case you're wondering, that's my mouse, uh, that's my mouse pad, and this is just for resting my hand. So yeah, let's start building. So guys, for the LED lights, I already attached these LED light strips to the table. It actually looks really good already. So it's just giving a glow for the table. So guys, just now I just sticked my plug to the wall and the voice panels for it to absorb the voice and i just place the tv down okay the keyboard i just stored in some stuff there and actually started to look good i have this like i don't know what the hell is this but uh, i can use it as cable management like i can put the cables on top of it the mouse and the keyboard uh cables on top of it and it look good i just connected everything and that's the cable management that's actually so much cables here i just have a regular fan just facing me for like you know you gotta get gaming and it's gonna be cool i just put this table down my wi-fi to my wi-fi right there and then two remotes the tv remote and the LED light remote and then i have this like two balls of prime just um, laying there now you're gonna see me in a time lapse of setting up my xbox Let's go. I thought of putting the Xbox um, horizontally because if I keep it vertically, because uh, as you guys can see, the fans, there are more fans on top and the sides. If I keep it horizontally like this, like this, this is a bit of fan and the bottom fan is getting covered. So I would. I would, right now, I would just keep it horizontally. And let me just real quickly connect these cables to the Xbox. Okay, just now connected all the cables behind. The keyboard and mouse are connected to the Xbox. And I actually, I still didn't own the Xbox. And the mouse is only lighting up. In case you're wondering what mouse I'm using. It's a 15 red K mouse. I just got this a few months, a few Days ago, actually good. The mouse guy is crazy too. And I'm thinking of keeping the controllers like just like that. Like both the controllers going like that. So that looks good. So guys, uh, guys, a quick, a quick tip: if you're going to use not if you're going to use keyboard and mouse. And not gonna use controller every 15 minutes it turns off. So I recommend you connecting like with the port to the Xbox so your uh, your Xbox doesn't turn off every 15 minutes and your Xbox can detect your controller. 
so yeah so guys now the setup is officially ready ready so this is the chair which i use it looks actually really good and it's comfortable too down i like the actual builders i like the chair is originally like this and that doesn't look really comfortable when you add this it actually it's, doesn't only look comfortable but it's also comfortable and it's perfect for the height of the for for setting the height for your gaming setup so guys the gaming setup is ready and oh my god this actually looks very good so in the future i definitely have to upgrade the tv to um to a monitor so by the time i can use this setup bro i'm not joking this is a very huge jump from my before setup if you guys haven't watched the videos go check it out right now but um this is a very good setup it, it takes a bit of the space but this was my previous setup i used to play for, uh this used to be my playstation 4 and used to play right here but i sold it for a few a few a uh, few hundred dollars and with that money i put some some for savings and got the xbox series s so this actually looks very good and now is going to be the big thing we're going to turn on the xbox when the first for the very first time on camera oh my god that sound actually looks good oh wait wait you can turn it off turn it off okay first of all we'll turn on the tv Wait, wait, guys. I'm sorry for the wait. Okay, everything's on. And now, first of all, we'll turn on the TV because then we're gonna see the animation if you're on the TV Bef afterwards. Okay, it's turning on. The TV's turning on. Let's keep the uh, TV remote down. And it's HDMI 2, no signal. Now we're gonna on the Xbox. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's go. We're gonna see the animation. Let me turn on the volume. Volume. Yeah, I've already set this up. I have three accounts already. So, in case you're wondering how my LED of my keyboards are like, look like at that. It's strong. You're gonna enter my account, guys. And now, look at this. Look at this glory. I have all a like, few things downloaded in. Now I'm gonna show you my Fortnite gameplay. So, guys, just because I don't have an actual camera stand, you guys will have to see in this POI. And, uh, not a flex, but without buying levels, I'm in level 44. I've been playing here and there. Yeah. Look at the mouse guy on this thing. It's insane. But now, let me TP straight. Okay. I'm going to pick this flapjack and the havoc. And come on, let's let's just do this.
guys, I'm not gonna lie, that was actually a very good gameplay experience for me because I've been in PlayStation and PlayStation 4 and 60 FPS. It's very hard to get, it can go down, up, and down. I'm still playing on 60, not 120 because my the TV can only support 60. So when I get the monitor, I can play on 120 and it's gonna be so sick. So well, wait till then, I'll definitely make a video when I get the monitor. But till now, I'm, I'll be, I have to stick to this uh, TV. But um, yeah, thank you, guys for, thank you guys for watching. As always, stay tuned for more videos. And comment down below if I should make more Xbox videos. Bye.